Hey there! In the DJI first time experience video I compared the EV100 to the DJI goggles with the analog mod. I used a cheap Isheen Pro 50A module which has not the best stock firmware on it. In order to make it better you have to flash another firmware on that. In my case I decided to use PyRx or Pyrx, I don't know how it is called, but it's comparable to Achilles but it's freeware so for me the best case as I won't use analog that much now since I have digital. In this video I will show you how you flash the new firmware to the Pro 58. But enough of talking, let's go! First of all we get the firmware for the Pro 58. For that you go in the link in the description and enter your email address. Then hit subscribe and you will get an email with all the details. Then you follow the link given in the email and download the firmware for the Pro 58. In my case it didn't work on Chrome so I tried it on Edge and there it worked. After the download is done, you have to extract everything. In my case, I put everything in one folder and extracted it there. After that, you have to get the STM32 Cube programmer. Just download it and put it on your computer and extract it as well. In my case I had to install the Java drivers in order to install the STM32 Cube programmer. So I did that and after that the installation of the Cube programmer worked. Then you get everything ready to solder the wires up. In order to do that, and please don't be as dumb as me and cut the wrong ends, you have to pre-tin the wires and then also pre-tin the Pro 58. After pre-tinning everything, you have to connect it like that. You will get this screenshot also when you download the firmware for the Pro 58. After you're done, it should look like this. If you didn't act dumb like me, then you don't have to connect new wires. So in my case I have to connect new wires to get it plugged into the pins of the STM programmer. When you're done with this step, or not if you were smarter like me, then you have to wire everything up with the pins of the STM programmer. Beside the soldered wires we also have to plug in 5 volts and ground. Do it like that in this screenshot and on the other side as well in the STM programmer. When you're done it should look something like this. After that just plug in the adapter to a USB port and open up the STM32 programmer. In my case I had to install new firmware to the STM programmer so clicked OK Go to the firmware settings, refresh device list, open in update mode and then upgrade in the bottom corner. After the upgrade is done, you just have to click the refresh button beside the serial number and your ST link should appear there and then just hit connect. First of all I did a backup of the existing firmware so you have to click on device memory with a right click, save as and then save the firmware to your computer. After that we have to make sure that we can write to the Pro 58 module. In order to do so we go to the option bytes tab and then if this box is checked just uncheck it and then click on apply. In the bottom left corner you will find an eraser symbol. You have to click it and erase the full chip from the Pro 58 module. 
Now we can write the firmware to the module. In order to do so, go to the Erasing and Programming tab and browse for your firmware on the computer. Just make sure you select the Pro 58 firmware what we just downloaded. Then you have to check the boxes, verify programming and run after programming. And when you're done, you can just hit the button Start Programming. In my case, I had an error message after a couple of seconds that the core is locked and the erase didn't work. So, I freaked out and panicked as the display of the module was just black. But you don't have to freak out if this happens to you. I will show you how it worked for me. I just unchecked the download file in the automatic mode, then clicked on the refresh button beside the serial number where you saw no ST-Link before and then reconnected. After that, I just hit start programming again and it worked in my case. After a couple of seconds, the Pro 58 is ready. And no, this here is not fast forward, this is the real time it takes. And after a short time, your Pro 58 will welcome you with this incredible fucking good sound. <sighs> Childhood memories. Now you have to calibrate the Pro 58 module. In order to do so, you have to plug a LiPo into a quad and put this quad to 25 milliwatt about one meter away. Then you click OK on the Pro 58 module and it will reboot after a couple of seconds. And after that it's calibrated. Now just undo the wires and in my case I used the adapter for the DJI goggles but this will work as well for any other module bay on any other goggles. And then you're done. And as always, if you didn't like the video, don't tell anybody how you spent the last minutes. But if I helped you, I'm happy if you leave a like and subscribe. In the next video, I will compare the Pro 58 with the new firmware to my old EV100 goggles. So, stay tuned for the next one and see you next time. Bist du das, Luisa? Scheinbar. Hey Leute!